you know, like now since I know how to recover my ankles now, if anything happens now, it's really, I know what to do from there. With you being here now a while, have you kind of taken on a more leadership role in that defensive end room? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's more, uh, yeah, I'm like a, it's Ethan, Trace, and I'm, and after those two, it's, it's uh, me, I'm a junior now, so you gotta step up. What have you seen from PJ so far? It seems like he's starting to really kind of stand out. Yeah, PJ got that weight on now, looking freakish now. No, he's been looking freakish, but, you know, he's bigger now on some type, on some Miles Garrett type. So now he's really getting into his body now, so he's, he's gonna have a big season. Putting on some of that extra weight, something you talked about this time last year. Now that you've had that off a little bit, how much have you seen your game be able to kind of jump when you've been helped and things like that? When I've been helped on oh, my yeah. weight, yeah. Basically, you can play both, play run and a pass. You're not, you're not scared of getting that four eye, scared of getting that three. And it's really just, you know, you just got 325 pounders on you now. You got some few extra pounds on you now, you can hold up for real. That's really a big difference. So was it like coming back this year on the defense? The expectations are, are, are pretty high for you guys. And how good of a unit do you think you guys can be defensively? I think we, wherever our ceiling is, we can exceed that. To be honest, because so many, how you said, so many guys back. Now we know the system. You know, keep learning. Now we can do multiple. And then now we can learn on the fly, especially uh, week to week, day by day. So I think wherever our ceiling is, we can probably exceed that. How has Zach Allen maybe helped you guys? Defensively and then bring some maybe some new stuff for you guys. Seeing it from a different perspective. Yeah. You know how you say uh, outside of OU, looking in is a lot different from inside looking out. So him at Jacksonville State, just bringing whatever uh, he learned and he was under Coach V for a number of years. So just from a different perspective, him coming in just changed the whole defense. What's it like working with Coach Shavis every day? It's fun. It's like living your dream, really. Just what he was saying in recruiting. I know it's been two years now, but what he said in recruiting, uh, trying to get me here is now coming to fruition. He seems to be a positive guy, but you know, it's kind of like, hey, you know, this day is this day, let's move on. I mean, am I, am I right about that? No, you are. Try to take every day, day by day. So now he's really, yeah, that's, you kind of hit it on the nail on that one. Having your experience with just putting on weight in this offseason, was that the biggest goal for you, pretty much? Uh, yeah, weight. Um, just getting better any way I can, really. It was kind of like, it's kind of broad. Mm -hmm. Kind of pass, run, seeing different things. Uh, now we're in the SEC, so they got a lot of RPOs, a lot of play action and things like that. So it was really kind of, it's kind of broad, but weight, just seeing different formations and knowing what to do faster, that's really what I've been working on. When you got to the end of last year, did it kind of seem like shit? Like I was just starting to come on towards the end. You finally were healthy. Yeah. Was it almost kind of frustrating that the season came to an end and you were just starting to hit your stride? Yeah, I'm not. A little bit it was. Yeah. It, it, you, you started to get healthy towards the end, and now you, you like after that game, I wanted to go to another game. <laughs> but I just know it takes time. I know because uh, after that game, I got I got in my ankles better than they were before. Sure. But yeah, it, it felt it was a little frustration. But now since we're in spring. Glad we get to play for the football now. There's a lot of veteran guys that love defensive end. How how has that been just throughout the spring? Is it noticeable that you guys you know obviously where you need to be that type of stuff? Basic, uh, great competition. As we we know where we can be, where we have to be, and you know where we can exceed. Sure. So a lot of older guys in there, it's basically, you know, everybody's got like this sense of like urgency, really. Just to let's just go. Let's yeah. Do it. No more talking. Let's just do it. Is it noticeable because there are so many guys coming back on the defensive side of the ball? That it's almost just expected that you guys are supposed to be better than you were last year. Almost expected. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's almost expected. But we also have to work hard at what we're doing because, you know, because Coach Alley came, so we have some new things. But really, it's expected, but we know we can we do a lot better. Sure. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it.